Today let's talk about how to use support in Prusa Slicer. First, open the software. Drag to import the file. Zoom out to see the whole picture. Scale it to 50%, see if it works. So it's still oversized, let's try 40%. Alright, it's printable. Green means your print is within the print volume. It's a support free print, let's click, slice, to start. Support free prints are always that easy. It will take some time, depending on your computer. Check the preview then save the file. Click the cubic to enter the edit field. Then click delete all to clean the build plate. Let's import the separated version. It could be slow when you import multiple objects. Obviously, they are too large for the build plate. Select all, then try to scale them to 50%. So 50% is okay for this model. Let's clean the build plate and start to slice. Drag and import the first print. It doesn't need any support. So we can scale it then slice it directly. Save the file when it's done. The left arm is different. Use the rotating function to adjust it. About 45 degrees will be fine. Set the support as everywhere, then click slice. That's it. Click export G code to save. The same setting for the legs. It's easy to handle. But you might need some time to clean the support. There's nothing different for the torso. Just scale, slice, and save. But let me show you more details on the support setting. Let's choose support on build plate only. There's no support on the head. For support enforcers only requires custom, or it generates no support. Use the paint tool to select the area that you need. Hold the left key on your mouse to paint. And you can change the brush size. Alright, that's it. If you paint the wrong area, just hold the right key to deselect. Then the related support will be removed. This function is better than the support blocker. This model requires support and flexibility. So the painting feature works perfectly for it. Let's do a quick process.
All right, that's it. And you can even set support inside the model. Cura seems don't have this feature right now. So that's all for today. Leave comments to let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing.